1950s drive-in theater was a social hangout for many teenagers. In this video, we will show you the proper etiquette while attending a drive-in theater. While at a drive-in theater, it is important to take friends so that you can have experiences such as this. I'd cast an eyeball on that classy chassis. She makes kings jive. I would alpha butter her biscuits. Man, that's the creamiest duck butt I've ever seen. Although these comments sound sexual in nature, it is important to know that they were meant as compliments to the actress in the movie. Here is the translation. I'd look at her body. She is so attractive. I would make her records while using smooth talk and flattery. Man, she has the most hair gel in her hair I have ever seen. It is important to know that noise in your car can be distracting to other viewers. Please try to keep the noise to a minimum. Get bent, boy. Boy. It is important to note that the viewers in this vehicle were distracted by the noise made by other passengers. This noise would have also distracted viewers in other vehicles. Sitting on the roof is a dangerous practice at a drive-in theater. You can either fall off or it can be very distracting to viewers behind you or to the sides of you. <laughs> This musician was not only distracting to the passengers within his vehicle, but also to those around him. Being loud is another problem faced at drive-in theaters. Being loud inside your vehicle can distract other viewers from the movie. The boisterous and disruptive behavior of these passengers was a huge distraction to other viewers at the drive-in theater. Distractions are very frequent at drive-in theaters, but they can be avoided. This viewer disrupted these passengers' ability to watch the movie and drew their attention away from the action on screen. Smuggling in trunks is a huge issue at drive-in theaters. It means viewers get into the theater without paying, which could eventually lead to the downfall of the drive-in theater, disallowing everyone from attending the movies. <laughs> Politeness goes a long way at a drive-in theater. It can get you a seat in someone's car, or can even get you free food or a free non-alcoholic beverage. Excuse me, sir, but it, it appears to be precipitating outside, and I find myself without a vehicle to take refuge in, and I would really like to stay and continue to watch the movie, but uh, I, don't, I don't really want to get wet. So I was wondering if I could perhaps come into the spacious confines of your vehicle and wait out the storm and watch the final transpirations of this movie here. Well, that was a very polite uh, question, and um, since you're such a nice young man, there's a car just a couple of rows back. You can go and sit in their car, I think. It's kind of a crappy car, but it's up to you. Thank you, sir. Parking in front of other vehicles can prevent them from seeing the screen. Be aware of how you're parking. Down in front! 
Get bed, boy. As we can see, this attendee of the drive-in theater may encounter some difficulties because of his complaining. If you find yourself in a position to complain, do not do it so vocally as to get your ass kicked by someone who's bigger and stronger than you. Shut your face and enjoy the movie. Making out in cars can be a huge distraction for those vehicles who are adjacent to you and can see in your windows. Please avoid from displaying affection in your car. One, you become boisterous and loud, and two, someone has to drive home after the movie is over. If you refrain from the actions portrayed in this public service announcement, your movie going experience can look something like this. Well done, boy. You are one chrome-plated cat. 